What is going on, guys, girls, and those still inside about the sexual orientation? It's your boy, a guy and fro, but you already know. And today we're here with the new LP. We're going to do some Ace Attorney Miles Edgeworth investigations. Now, last time I recorded, I said I was going to actually upload a Game Boy Advance game. And I was. That was going to be the new LP. was going to be part of Game Boy Advance. But for some reason, the game wasn't working. So I had to go to option B. And option B was this game because I've actually played and beat this game. So with that being said, we're about to go on an adventure and play some Miles Edgeworth Investigations uh, Ace Attorney. So yeah, let's do it. We're going to start all the way from the beginning. Hopefully I won't spoil anything. And yeah, I'm gonna shut up and let the uh, this cutscene go by. Damn, only got shot. <laughs> March 14th, 2 a.m. in the morning. Prosecutor's building 12th floor hallway. Uh oh, here comes Mr. Swag Nito himself, Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to believe that I've been away from my office for a whole month. I hope Detective Gumshoe is keeping an eye on my office and keeping it clean. Hmm? The door is unlocked. Uh oh. Detective Gumshoe? Hmm? What's the smell? It's very familiar. Blood? So you know you got a fucked up job if, uh, if the blood's a familiar smell to you. But you're either a serial killer or you just have a really messed up job. What the? Oh no, he did. He's so gone. What's the meaning of this? Freeze. Tell me, mama, like a nipple stick. Click. Oh shit, I was fucking up on my own jokes already. Identify yourself. Shut up. Shut up. Hmm, you got some nerve of committing a murder in the prosecutor's office. Bro, that's one shot. I'm gonna bust you in your fucking head. Is that a threat? Let me make one thing very clear. What? No one gets away with committing murder in my office. No one. Is this like an actual occurrence for you, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Like, does this happen all the time? Are you just making threats about ain't no one getting shot in my office? My name is Miles Edgeworth, and I work as a prosecutor in my local district. And y'all can refer to me as a uh, Mr. Edgeworth Fro. Little did I know that upon my return after a month abroad, I would be thrust into a multitude of cases and some very frantic and busy days. That sucks. March 14th, 2.56 a.m. High Prosecutor's Office, room 12.02. Damn, so a whole hour passed and the police finally got here. It's fast when they get here when someone gets shot in the hood. Damn, huh? They already photographed the body, check the evidence, make sure nothing's gone awry. The victim's okay, man. I gotta waste at least three and a half hours for that, for they even show up. 
I finished photographing the victim's body, sir. Very well. Please continue your investigation. Yes, sir. Facing back and forth. Okay, this is uh Mr. Edward, sir, are you okay, sir? Keep it down, detective. This is a crime scene. When I heard that a murder had taken place in your office, I ran up I ran up here straight away. This is Dick Gumshi. <laughs> Dick. He's <laughs> Okay, gotta keep it together. He's a detective with the local precinct. And the other, oh, and the one day signed to handle this murder case for the time being. You're looking a little pale, sir. Are you hurt? No, I'm perfectly fine, dick. However, ah, look at what they did to your office. It's totally trashed. I'll say the culprit sullied my floor with the dirt rather well. No one gets away with tracking mud into my office. Whoa, sounds like you're really getting burned up over over this whole thing. This is going to test how well I can read. I'm an American, don't judge me. This, this crime was committed in my office, so it's my responsibility to solve it. Ho oh, ho, that's just like you, Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, time to do some investigating. Agreed. Our first course of action is to gather relevant facts and leads. We must not overlook anything, no matter how small, if we are able to find the truth. So I'll keep any leads on the information we, at, we find etched in the forefront of my mind. Speaking of things that piqued my curiosity, why of all places did the murder occur in my office? Crime scene in my office? Yeah. Is it really a coincidence that, my murder took place, that the murder took place in my office? So these like your little logic things, you found logic to uh, put it together to help work open the case and get more evidence that points to more logic. Hmm, I get nagging, I get the nagging feeling like this is something important to keep in mind. Yeah, I was wondering that myself, sir. I mean, you can really say that, it's, you can't really say it's a coincidence, can you? No, not really. No prosecutor in his right mind believes a coincidence, especially because of this. The key to your office? Uh oh, got two logics. We we'll have to combine them. Trips. What do you mean, sir? If you think about it carefully and use logic, it should become clear to you. Logic? Yeah, logic. So I don't know what that is. By finding the connection between two uh, two pieces of information and connecting them, new information born. Basically, what I just said, Miles Edgeworth. But go ahead, keep talking about it. That is the end result of logic. That is the end result of using logic. Oops. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. How do you use it? First, I recall information through the logic button and then connect them together. Wow, Miles, just keep talking about what I already went over. Gotcha. Not to touch the logic. So I'm just going to use the mouse for those parts. So it gets on the screen, I apologize. Cause, yeah, I can't do that. Oh, can I do my arrow key? Whoa. I'll see where come. Connect the logic together and then brain blast. For security reasons, all prosecuted doors are outfitted with locks, which means it would have been hard for the murderer and the victim to get in here. Ergo, it is impossible to dismiss the location of crime as a mere coincidence. Because I'm a prosecutor and there's no such thing as coincidences. Yes, that's exactly what I think, sir. That's exactly what I was thinking, sir. Part of my bad reading. There must be a reason why someone would in someone infiltrated my room. What was the killer after? That's a good question. I know somewhat know the answer. I haven't beaten this in like three months, so uh, my logic, so my uh, awareness is pretty off. You really on the ball today, Mr. Edgeworth. That's some beautiful logic, sir. Yes, well, when you follow leads to their conclusion, only the truth remains. Ain't that something? However, the information doesn't line up properly. I made straight from the truth as well. 
but by sitting carefully before piecing the leads together, the logic should flow. Anyway, that should help on top uh, top left. That was the green bar about uh, logic. If you do bad logic, it'll uh, break it down. It'll go down. If you do good logic, it'll just stay the same. So I always try to go for the good logic when I try to guess your way. Because I've tried to guess my way plenty of times. I've actually lost uh, because of it. So just actually use your head and you should be fine if you ever decide to play easy games. Now granted, I know using your heads, I know what's the most fun thing you want to do for a game, but you know, tomato, tomato. Anyway, because they're talking, they're pretty much explaining how the, uh, how the uh, partner thing happens and how you go through and look at everything and explain it to you. And, uh, I explained that terribly. Anyway, when you're in these types of scenarios, you get to walk around, you get free control, which is cool, and then you would check the crime scene using the A button or whatever. And then uh, you see what evidence you can find by looking around. And I click with something. You could also talk to your partner by clicking on the name. And uh, though you can notice anything about investigation, talk about that. There's at times useless, but uh, there are times you actually need to talk to them hoping who will give you uh, help and break open the case. Save. Let's examine this dead ass fool. You finished all your message. Please in this one area. I was not expected. Every suspicious enough for granted. First of all, this man got a bloody ass hand. Passed clean through the stomach area. Yeah, he was shot. Please have the body sent to the morgue. We'll sit down for the crime scene. Uh, crime scene notes jotted down. Are you going to be okay with keeping track of this evidence, sponsor? Of course, this is the safest way I know to keep track of it all. Alright, if you say so. If I keep all the evidence I find either in or with my organizer, I don't want to re examine the piece I had. All I have to do is touch it via organizer button. Organizer is the only place for evidence to keep people's profiles on hand in it, too. It's possible. This is out uh, it's probably a good idea to make a habit of checking the facts often. Yeah, you bitch. Do not, um, see there's a ruckus. Files on a little floor. They probably felt during the struggle between the victim and his killer. But if it was a gut shot, hmm. So there's more logic we got. I mean, it's just, I need all the time and effort. Yeah, he was cleaning up the household, making sure everything was cool. Don't recall ever asking you to clean my room. Well, I've ordered, now, I've ordered the flowers every day just like you requested, sir. I just added cleaning to the list is a weekend special. For about half a day every Saturday, I come in and clean this place until it's sparkles. That's a good maid. Does he have a life? That's also a really good question, Miles. Uh, can I examine the actual blood spot? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. If you already went through something once, you can uh, press the back button and we'll zip right through it. Yeah, I think this is still thing. Okay. Never hurts to be too, uh, too safe on this. Anyway, if we need to fall over, just look at them. Talk about causing the bookshelves to this rate. It was a little center for the problem. To be sure, and once the investigation is over, We'll put them back on the shelf. Anything else you need to worry about this fool? No, okay, we're good. I guess I can point this out. Um, Whenever you're done, to know that you're done or something, if you examined it enough, you press X on him again. And if he says this line, I won't rest out and expect it. If he says this line at first, then that means you forgot something. If he didn't, then that means uh, you checked out everything. You don't have a problem. I don't know what I'm missing. I'm probably missing something stupid. Is it just fake? Nope, that's the body again. Come on. Oh, that, I didn't check his wallet. God. What do we have here? I think, yeah, I think I've seen one of these before. It's a oh, it's a police badge. Uh, oh, hey, I have the exact same thing, actually. What a cool look you did. It's fucking retarded. How do you become a detective? Name's Buddy Faith Detective. 